All right. Whoa. All right, yeah, all right. Um, still on here, time for game collection update. I don't even know how many there are anymore. Um, this is everything I picked up for January. Um, actually, a pretty good amount of stuff here. I'm like 32 games. Bad thing is that the quality sucks. <laughs> I picked up a lot of shitty games today, so I am this month, to tell the truth. Um, but I picked up some good stuff here and there. Um, a lot of stuff at Plain Trade. Um, just like, really, the months that I don't find anything, I go to Plain Trade and like, pick up fillers and stuff like that. Um, and that's what a lot of this is, actually. Like, 20 some of these games are actually fillers. Um, there are a couple that I want, like, are playing and like, want to play and stuff like that, but. Most of them I'm probably never going to play, though, too. But, yeah, alright, let's start off, um, let's start, uh, well, yeah, let's start off with the, like, bottom of the barrel, like, the biggest piece of shit ever. Um, these games here, um, I usually don't pick up, like, Madden and shit like that, but, um, they're 45 cents each, and I decided for 45 cents, whatever. Um, so, yeah, I picked up six games for PS2. Picked up um, Madden 64. It's complete. This is in great shape, so yeah. Then these Xbox games, which I don't even have an Xbox, so I don't know why I picked them up, but I did anyway. Um, 45 cents each, I mean, whatever. Um, NFL Fever 2000, 2002, which is in the crappiest condition out of all of these. Um, this is pretty beat up, so I'll choose, but whatever. Um, Again, I said I'll pick up Madden games, but here, Madden 2003, always in great shape, though, except for stick residue, which I can get off. Uh, Madden 2005, and Madden 2006, so, got those, and the last one I got for 45 cents. This one I will actually play when I get an Xbox, but I don't have one yet, but, um, All-Star Baseball 2003, I actually enjoy baseball games, so, I'll give that a try, eventually. Alright, um, yeah, got those. And actually, I didn't put this in. All right. Um, the rest of these, um, rest of the plain trade pickups, I picked up for sixty cents each because they're all priced at a dollar. And uh, buy two get one, then ten percent off. It ends up being sixty cents each. Well, then tax. But, yeah. yeah, actually, for um, all like all of these right here were from plain trade. All of these, and then these six games right here cost me about fifteen dollars. So it's not that bad. I mean, it's like what twenty some games. So. Uh, I'll start off with these, um, say the PlayStation games for last, since I picked up a lot of PlayStation games, picked up like 15 this month, so, um, that's almost half of my actual pickups. Um, yeah, these were 60 cents. Again, I'll pick up Madden, but I couldn't find anything else, so I picked this up. Madden 2003 for Game Boy Advance. I played it, and this is pretty shitty. Uh, then I picked up two Game Boy games for 60 cents. Picked up, uh, Nintendo World Cup, which I actually wanted to play this game. I played it, and... It's not that great. <laughs> um, yeah, not the greatest game, so you. But 60 cents, whatever. And WWF Betrayal. Pick this up because I wanted to play it because I thought it would be like a Game Boy wrestling game and I wanted to see how that was like. Turns out this is actually a side scrolling beat em up, which really interested me at first, but turns out it's not that great. So yeah, not that great. Like, these games aren't that great, but um, yeah. This one was awesome. Uh, this game, they usually price at anywhere from $2 to $5. This one was a dollar, so I don't know what the hell is wrong with their pricing, but, um, yeah, Amped for Xbox. Complete in great shape, like, pretty much mint shape, actually. Like, this is really, it looks like no one played it, so, happy about that. This is an awesome game. You used to play it all the freaking time. Um, yeah. You used to play at a friend's house all the time. It was an awesome game. Mm. Then, um, all these PlayStation games, uh, 14 of them here from Plain Trade. I picked up one from another place that I'm going to talk about later. But, um, yeah, this is separated into two stacks. One stack that's pretty awesome, which is this one, and one stack that's pretty shitty. So, let's start with the shitty ones. Um, these are 60 cents each as well. Contender 2, I know nothing about it, but it's just a game, like, I haven't seen before, so... Decided to pick it up for 60 cents. I need to exchange the cases. This one has a big crack on it, but... I mean, I guess this one's not that bad. EA Super... Um, EA Sports Supercross? Um... I don't know. Picked it up. Um, I like those type of games, so... This one, I don't know why I picked this up. I just can't find anything else. Uh, Saltwater Sport Fishing? Saltwater Sport Fishing, yeah. I don't know. Um... 
this one I actually picked up because, well, it's um, NBA Basketball 2000. Don't have a basketball game for N64. That's the reason I picked this up. Um, I even realized that until just recently. And I love basketball games, so. Next one, PGA Tour 98. Um, yeah. It's a golf game. <laughs> I enjoy golf games, actually. Then these last two, um, WWF SmackDown, WWF SmackDown 2, Know Your Role. Um, yeah, they just had them there. And these weren't released on S4, to my knowledge. I'm Actually, I'm pretty sure these weren't released on S4. So, pick them up. Uh, and these are actually some pretty decent titles. Um, yeah. And I was really happy with some of these for 60 cents. First one, uh, NFL Blitz. Big fan of the Blitz series, if you haven't realized. Um, like, I own Blitz uh, 2000 for PlayStation and also for N64. And I, um, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I really enjoy them. Used to play them all the time back in the day. Um, I haven't played the first one in a long, long time, though, so pick this up. I want to get the N64 version, but that one goes for, like, I mean, not a lot of money, but, like, $5, which is quite a bit for a sports game, to tell the truth. But, um, yeah. Uh, Moto Racer 2, pick this up because I actually wanted to play this. Uh, I enjoy the Moto Racer series. Um, so I have a uh, World Tour, this one, which is pretty much exactly the same game, but uh, Moto Racer 2, like Moto Racer World Tour is actually the third in the series, but um, Moto Racer 2 is pretty much the exact same game, but this one you can create your own tracks and stuff like that, so pick that one up. Matt Hoffman, I was really happy about this. Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX. Um, I used to have this game. Uh, I don't have it anymore. Well, I didn't have it until now. Um, and I picked up, like, a year ago, Dave Mears, um Freestyle BMX, because I thought it was this game, but apparently it wasn't. So, yeah, this one. Like, yeah, I've been wanting this for a while. Awesome game. I actually own, I believe I own it for PC. Yeah, I do own it for PC, but they have the PlayStation version. Now these two are kind of surprises. I'm, well, this one I'm not quite sure. Um, it's Monster Bass for PS1. Um, not that you're in the game, but apparently, like, if I remember right, this is this goes for like five bucks um, on eBay, which is four dollars more than what I paid for it. So I believe this is the one. I remember it was some bass game for PS1. It was either this or Action Bass. I forgot. I believe it's Monster Bass that goes for five dollars. So. This one I was really excited because this one actually goes for a decent amount of money, like eight to ten dollars. Viva Soccer, um, yeah, it's a soccer game. Which actually, soccer games for um, this 32-bit and 64-bit um, area uh, era um, go for a lot of money. Like especially the International Superstar Soccer series, um, especially 2000. That's fucking bullshit for N64. Um, it looks like fifty something bucks. Um, then, um, there's one on PS1 that also goes for quite a bit, but, um, yeah, this one actually, this game actually goes for, like, 8 to 10 bucks. So. These two I was happy with, because, um, these were actually because of an error in the system. Because, um, apparently, like, for one day, and that was the day I was there, like, everything that got traded in, for some reason, was a dollar. Huh. Like, every PS1 game, I should say. Like, their system got messed up and stuff like that, so these two games I got for a buck, because... They set a buck and they actually follow their word on like some other fucking game stores. Um, you don't know Jack? Yeah. This is two discs. Um, I'm not going to open, like, here's the first disc. The second one is like after you open this thing, but I'm not going to freaking show you that because it's a hassle to close it. But you don't know Jack. Haven't played it, but here's a good trivia game. This one I was really excited about for 60 cents because um, I would have paid like $3 or more for this. Um, second three. Yeah. Uh, awesome song. Um, Tekken 3, Awesome Fighter. I used to play this uh, at friends' house all the time. Uh, we used to, like, try to do, like, glitches and shit like that. Yeah, great fighting game. Uh, probably one of the best in the series, if not the best. Alright, now, the rest of these are better games. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll save this for last. These are, yeah. Um, these are... Pawn shop pickups. Uh, yeah, I have a local pawn shop that's pretty decent actually. Um, they price their stuff over eBay, but um, yeah, they actually like it's like eBay, but then they like cut the price in half so then they can actually sell the stuff. So um, yeah, pick up some games and like um, 
Oh yeah, I forgot to get these. Um, yeah, I just got like a whole bunch of games there were fifty cents, which freaking blew my mind. Um, picked up two two of them I'm keeping, so these are two that I kept. NFL Blitz 2003 for PS2, complete in great shape. Big fan of the Blitz series, haven't played one after 2000, so pick that up. And then this one I'm really excited to have: Hard Hitter Tennis. Not that great of a tennis game, to tell you. Complete, um, but it's published by Atlas, so I've been wanting this for a while. And for 50 cents, I picked it up. But um, something I forgot to. They had a whole bunch of 50 cent games. Um, bad thing is that most of them didn't have the cases. Um, but I picked them up anyway, and I actually resold them. And like I made a profit of something like thirty dollars. So pretty much everything here was free, and um, got prof. Like even then, I like still like ten dollars left or something. So that was awesome. Like some of the games in there were like um, Dynasty Warriors Five for PS2. Like some like some of them I had. Like um, they had Crash Bandicoot for a GameCube. Which I already had, um, then, um, what else? They had some other stuff, but, um, yeah, they were all disc only, which I don't keep disc only, like, games that are supposed to be in these cases, um, unless they can't, unless they were sold that way, but those weren't, so, yeah, I ended up selling them and actually made a decent profit, um, but, um, yeah, next game I got for a buck, um, Aggressive Inline for GameCube. I always wanted this, um, I mean, I have it for PS2, but I always wanted the GameCube version, because, um, that's my console choice. Um, great, I am not great shape, shitty shape, uh, really terrible shape, like, I mean, holy shit, um, but, whatever, block, I guess. Wait, is that, shit, I didn't realize that freaking back right here is freaking cut. I think it's cut, yeah, it is cut, oh, that's bullshit, but, um, yeah, a buck. It works, because I've actually played it. And last game for a buck, um, I was pretty happy with this, I guess. Tomb Raider. It's in great shape. For a buck, uh, yeah. Complete and stuff. This is, yeah. I mean, like, no, it's not that bad. It's a lot of dirt on it. I haven't cleaned it, but, yeah. Tomb Raider for a buck, not bad. And the final games here, no. uh, final games here are newer titles, um, Start off GameStop because oh yeah something that pisses me off about GameStop uh they had a buy two get one free sale as everyone knows um then I picked up three games um that were DS games because this is like the that was the only uh, GameStop in my area that actually sells DS games with cases but f what fucking pisses me off is that they had a copy of Gunpei DS which I really wanted and it was only like three dollars or something they didn't have the fucking game it freaking pisses me off um yeah I was so freaking pissed but um. <laughs> Whatever, I guess. Um, I ended up picking this up, though. It was 45 cents. Uh, Link's Crossbow Training. Um, yeah, it comes with the manual and the disc. It didn't come with the sleeve, which kind of disappointed me, but whatever. 45 cents. 49 cents, sorry. 49 cents. Um, it didn't come with the case. Dang it, like, these weren't released with the case, so. This one I was really excited. Um, in my last collection update, I picked up Kingdoms of Paradise, but I said I was going to return it, um, because... Um, my PC is actually broken. Well, it's not broken, it's just that the selling the buttons don't work, but whatever. Um, and I walked into that GameStop, and holy shit, I finally found this game. I've been wanting this game for, like, it hasn't been since I started collecting, like, two years ago. And, um, I've never seen it in the wild until then, but found it for three bucks. And actually, it ended up being free after exchanging and stuff, but, uh, yeah. Vortex, Sento no Ronde, um, I can't believe I found this game. So awesome. It's complete, great shape, um, except for a stupid sticker right here, but fantastic. Um, I mean, the game itself tells you the game itself isn't exactly what I expected. Um, yeah, it's, it's sort of unique. It's really unique. It's like an anima, anime style, the story and stuff like that, and characters and stuff like that. The gameplay is sort of like a mix of a fighting game and um, a shooter and a mech game. Like, it's really unique. Um, it's not really great, but it's unique. Um, and the last two games here, you've already seen in my, um, Best Buy video, um, picked these up for five bucks each, and I had a gift card, so, Steel Diver, uh, this one, oh, this is the game that's in my 3DS, um, yeah, Steel Diver, um, I've been playing, like, I put about three hours into it, um, I have mixed opinions, the game itself is good, it's, um, really unique, like, that you can control the tank and stuff, I mean, not tank, submarine and stuff, um, shoot missiles, destroy rocks, stuff like that, um, 
But I'm I suck at it. It's really hard and um well at least it's hard to me. But three D is actually decent in this game, uh it's not the best three D ever. But um Yeah. Um good good for five bucks. And my favorite game on three D S as so far, which I only have two three D S games, but whatever. Pilotwings Resort, um fantastic uh, game. Yeah. Yeah, this one's actually in here. I put about five hours into this. Um, I'm on the platinum thing, platinum metal, whatever it's called. Um, really fun. It sucks to get hard. Like, if you want to get three stars and stuff like that, it's so freaking hard. Like, holy shit. But um, it's enjoyable. Great game. Um, one of the best 3DS games. And yeah, that's all my game pickups for the month. Um, yeah. <laughs> so thank you for watching. Ugh. Fuck me, man. Hi, even he said fuck. Yeah.